I would say the first couple of years of my college career, if you looked at my life, you would have said, well, his priorities are, you know, getting good grades because he's motivated by that and getting the opportunity to hang out with friends, go skiing or snowboarding, uh, have, uh, have fun. Third, maybe looking for a girlfriend, <laughs> a failing, but looking for a girlfriend. God would have been um, maybe at times in the top five, but sometimes um, as low as maybe um, 10th or 12th on my priority list. And, and so I knew all the right things to do. I was, you know, I'd grown up in a Christian home, but once I moved out, I realized all the freedom that I had and all of the, uh, all of the questions that I had about my relationship with God that I didn't, that I kind of took for granted, all came bubbling up to the surface. It, it wasn't that I felt like I needed to abandon God, but I just felt like I needed to discover as an adult what it looked like to have a relationship with God. And I didn't really, um, didn't really know exactly what that looked like. And right around that time, I was working in construction and I actually fell off a roof and landed on my head. And uh, that literally shook me up. I um, ended up in the hospital and I'm 10% of a vertebrae shorter than I used to be. And it really got me thinking about life or death for the first time in a while. And it helped me realize that I needed to spend some serious time just um, figuring out what my priorities were in life. I opened up my Bible, which, which felt like the very first time and went, I want to read this. I want to know what's in here because I want to know what Jesus wants. And it gave me a completely different perspective. It freed me up to say, to go beyond saying that I love Jesus and actually experiencing loving Jesus. And I started sharing my faith with the people around me, including my classmates, which used to freak me out. But now I was like, I want to do this. I ended up meeting this wonderful woman named Bethany. And uh, Bethany worked for Crew. We talked about doing ministry together. And even as we were dating, I was um, teaching at the time and we uh, we got the opportunity to start serving in the church we were at, and um, we worked with junior hires and high schoolers, and uh, my wife was working with college students at the time with crew, and I thought, you know, why not? Uh, why not try that? We uh, l took a team of students down to Venezuela about seven years ago, and I sat down with a man who said, I don't believe in God, a um, atheism and science are my God to me. And 45 minutes later, he was praying to receive Christ. And that that chain, that conversation, seeing somebody's heart literally soften in front of my eyes was something that I just moved me in ways that I was just like, I want to be a part of this. I want to see, I want to see lives changed. And that's what I get to do every day. I get to ask people um, what their story is and introduce them to God's story, um, which can be a part of their story. And uh, so uh, we get to do that at Boise State, uh, Eastern Oregon, CWI, and some of the other college campuses in the area. Uh, been here for about two and a half years now. We would love for you to consider what it would look like to use your talents uh, or your spiritual gifts to be a part of reaching uh, that. So if it's connections that you have or if you want to step on campus, we'd love to talk to you about that. Um, so join with us. Come talk to me. Uh, we want to have other people come with us and be a part of uh, helping share the gospel with every single one of those college students.